Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to make yogurt at home. Let's get started. You guys, I am completely obsessed with this yogurt. Now, this is raw milk yogurt. We get raw milk. We are a part of a local herd share here in Tennessee. So we are able to get raw milk to make dairy products with. And we believe that raw milk is the best because with raw milk, you get all of the beneficial parts, the enzymes, the bacteria, the things that actually help you digest the milk. Whereas with pasteurized milk, those are all destroyed. The proteins and, and things in the milk are denatured and damaged. And so although they, you can still drink uh, pasteurized milk, if you can get raw milk, that is definitely so much better for you. I will leave a link uh, in the description box below that will show you how you can find local herd shares and if raw milk is actually allowed in your state. There are some states that do not allow the sales of uh, raw milk. So for those of you that can't get raw milk, I did want to let you know that I tested this out with um, some organic whole milk that's pasteurized from the store to see if it would work. And in the Nourishing Traditions cookbook, it actually says that culturing dairy products can help restore some of those enzymes back to uh, pasteurized milk products. So I encourage you to use this method, which is a cold start method, because we do not heat the milk up um, to 180 degrees. We actually just put everything in cold and, and we set it at a certain temperature. So that way you can actually kind of restore and have a healthier yogurt than what you're gonna get at the store. So I just wanted to let you know that if you can't get raw milk. So to do this, um, there's several different options. I know a lot of people have Instant Pots and you don't need to worry if there's not a yogurt button on the Instant Pot, you can still use it. So you can make this in an Instant Pot. And one of the reasons why I like that is because you just pour everything in, press a button, that's it. Um, and again, like I said, most people have an Instant Pot that they can use, which makes it really, really convenient. And some other ways that you can do this is if you have a proofing box, which I know a lot of people don't have a proofing box. This is a bread proofing box that I bought. And if you have um, something like that, a dehydrator, or even an oven that you can set the temperature to 110 degrees, any of those are gonna be something that you can use to do this. So I am going to show you how I do it in an Instant Pot, but also how you can um, do this if you have one of these other devices, an oven or a, a dehydrator or, or some type of bread proofing box. So let's go ahead and get to the instructions and so you can see how easy this is. So the first way I'm gonna show you is in the Instant Pot. All you need to do is just make sure that the liner of the Instant Pot is really clean and then pour the milk. Um, I'm using a gallon, this is a six quart Instant Pot. Just pour the milk inside the liner along with a cup of plain store-bought yogurt. Just make sure it's plain, it has live cultures. Take a whisk, whisk it all together, put the top on. It doesn't matter if it, the uh, lid is in the sealed or open position. Um, just lock the lid into place. If you have a Instant Pot that has a yogurt button, you wanna put it into the incubate mode. So when you press the button, it'll say boil, press it one more time and you'll get a timer. If your Instant Pot doesn't have a yogurt button, there's other buttons that you can use. The, um, I have a sous vide button, so that is perfect because you just press the sous vide button, select the time and the temperature. So just set that to 110 degrees and for eight to 24 hours. Now you need to let it set anywhere, a minimum of eight up to 24 hours. I always just put the 24 hours on and that way I know at any time at my convenience, I can come back after eight hours, but before the 24 and take it out. And the length of time, the longer that it stays in there, the more of the uh, lactose is gonna be eaten up and pre-digested for you. So it'll be easier for you to digest the longer that it stays in. But that's it. Once the time is up, you simply just transfer that into some jars. I like to use like two half gallon jars, mason jars, uh, put a lid in it, stick it in the fridge. 
that is literally all that you have to do and just let that set up for 24 hours and that's it. So if you don't have an Instant Pot and you do have one of these other devices, let me show you how easy it is to get, uh, get this started in there. So let me move this out the way and we're gonna go over um, how to strain this as well to make it thicker. So one thing, um, when you have raw milk yogurt, it is not thick like the kind of yogurt that you get at the store. It is on a thinner consistency, but that's okay because you can strain it and, and then it'll be like a Greek style yogurt and um, then you can use the whey for other stuff and I will show you what to do with that. Because I'm doing a full gallon of yogurt in the Instant Pot, I want a cup of the um, plain yogurt along with it. That's what's gonna help give us a really nice start to the yogurt. So I'm just gonna put that yogurt into a little uh, measuring cup. It's actually a big measuring cup. And we're gonna pour a little bit of the milk in there. Now, actually, before I forget, because we are gonna be um, putting this into jars and not in the Instant Pot, I wanna shake the milk up so that all the cream and stuff gets evenly dispersed throughout the jars. So we're just gonna take some and pour it into there. It doesn't need a lot. And then, let me get a whisk. A whisk there. Here, I'm just going to use this. You're just wanting to get the yogurt mixed with a little bit of the milk. And then we're going to divide this evenly into four quart jars. Okay. Get these lined up. So, just put a little bit in here. Here. Just like that. And then we will pour in the milk. Okay, once you have that milk in there, just put the tops. I just used the top that comes with the ball jar. Um, I do like to give each one a little shake just to mix everything up. Okay, now we're gonna transfer these jars. In my case, I'm gonna put it into my dough proofing box. Uh, but like I said, if you have an oven, dehydrator, you can use that. And you might have to use different sizes in this. You might have to use a pint jar because this might be too tall for your dehydrator, but just you know, test that out before you do it so you know what size jar to use. So let's go ahead and get these into the proofing box. Let's put these in. Put these in. Okay, so I have set the temperature on that to 110 degrees. For things to cop, uh, for yogurt to culture properly, it needs to be between 108 and 112. So that's why we set it at 110. So that's a nice, you know, midway. That way, you know it's going to culture properly. And again, that can sit for eight to 24 hours. And when it's done, you simply just take them out and place those jars right in the fridge. Always make sure to reserve one cup of your yogurt so that you can use it as your starter culture for your next batch. If you forget, just use uh, yogurt from the store. I wanted you to see, this is the yogurt that I made with the um, pasteurized milk. And you can see it's set up really nice. So if you don't have raw milk, this definitely still works. So once your yogurt has set and you decide that you want it thicker, it's really easy to make 
Greek yogurt out of this. And so when you strain it, you simply just take a fine mesh strainer, put it over a bowl. And then I like to lay a nice clean tea towel over that and you pour the yogurt in. I cover it up, stick it in my fridge and just let it sit there overnight. And you know, when the um, yogurt is strained, it's gonna be thick Greek yogurt. See how thick that is? And again, this is what it looked like starting off the difference. See how that just kind of runs off the, the spoon? So um, what you'll do is you'll have the whey at the bottom. And this whey actually, don't throw it away. Save the whey because this has so many uses. Um, we're going to do a tutorial on soaking grains. So you can use it to soak grains. You can use it to inoculate your ferments because all of that lactobacillus, all those different bacteria are in here. So you can use this for other stuff as far as your ferments go. Um, you can put this into smoothies. You can replace uh, my friend that I buy my raw milk from. Uh, she uses it in her sourdough. So she will replace one for one uh, water in her sourdough breads. Um, let's see, you can water plants with this. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. It's full of minerals. You can make uh, lemonade, uh, fermented lemonade with this. I like to ferment my chicken feed with it. So I put their, some of their feed in a jar, pour a little bit of that in there. And I'm telling you what, the what made me a believer in fermenting was when I started fermenting my chicken feed because the yolks of their eggs became so much brighter. And that's how you can tell when they are actually absorbing more nutrients. So when you eat raw dairy um, for the first time, it's best to, to consume it in a cultured state like yogurt. And it's gonna help you actually digest your meals better. I mean, that's why we should be eating probiotic foods throughout the day. And this is just one really delicious way to do it. So I know you guys are gonna love this. So your yogurt will stay good in the fridge up to two weeks, um, especially raw yogurt. It has a lot of its own built-in safety mechanisms for keeping it safe for consumption. So I know it's not gonna last that long, but again, you know, just put it in your fridge and, and you'll, you'll be able to, to eat on it for you know, 12, 14 days. If you have any questions, leave them in the um, comments below. And I, if I have enough, I'll do a follow-up video, like a Q&A type video, so that I can answer anything that I didn't within this video. But yeah, you guys have got to try this. If you haven't done it, it is so easy. Like, it's just really cool to take something and make something so delicious out of it right in your kitchen. So go out and find you some raw milk and make this yogurt and let me know what you think. So until next time, bye guys.